Hi, I'm Eric Simon. I'm an associate professor of biology at New England College in Henniker, New Hampshire. Every semester, I teach a non-majors introductory biology course called Biology and Society. I love teaching biology to non-science majors, even though most of them do not want to be there. Uh, let's face it, right? The only reason most students take my class is to fulfill their general education science requirement. In fact, on the first day of class, I'll always ask the students, I'll say, okay, show of hands, how many of you are here because you want to be here? You know, and pretty much nobody raises their hand. And then I'll ask, how many of you are here because you have to be here? And you know, all the hands shoot up. So I understand where the students are coming from. Given their inherent lack of interest in the topic, I think it's really important to try to motivate these students to make them want to be there in my class. One way that I try to do that is through the use of music. Every day, as my students are entering the classroom, I'm playing a popular song that is relevant to that day's curriculum. For example, if we're learning about Darwin, I might play Do the Evolution by Pearl Jam. Or if we're learning about carbohydrates, I might play Sugar, We're Going Down, which is a song by Fall Out Boy. Then I always start the class with the same three questions. What's the name of the song? Who's the artist? And why am I playing this song today? The students are usually able to answer these questions unless I pick something really old like a Frank Sinatra song or something. So it's a fun and relaxing way to start the class. I find that playing music helps to ease the students' anxieties. But there is an even bigger point to playing the music. In order to answer that third question, why am I playing this song today? The students must think about what we'll be discussing in class. In other words, the music can serve as a means to encourage the students to engage the material before the bell is even rung. And I think when you're dealing with a non-majors audience, that itself can be a small victory. I encourage you to give this a try in your classroom. If you aren't too hip to music, don't worry because you've got a classroom full of students who are. Try turning this into an extra credit assignment. Bring in a few songs yourself to get the ball rolling, and then offer students one bonus point on the next exam for bringing in a song that's relevant to your lecture. Isn't it amazing what students will do for one bonus point? As far as I'm concerned, if a non-major student is thinking about my class during their free time while they're listening to music, that's worth a bonus point. So encourage students to make these connections themselves, and you can quickly amass a good library of music to play before class. My class meets three times a week, and I have no problem filling up the semester with 45 songs that relate to the curriculum. In fact, I've put together a list of well over 100 songs that relate to the introductory biology curriculum. There are songs for every topic across the semester. And I've put my song list up on a website. You can access it at the address shown here. In addition to the song list, there's a link that will bring you to the iTunes store where I've got a mix that allows you to buy some of these songs and download them for yourself. I don't get paid in any way for doing this. It's just a handy way to organize and share links to the songs. I encourage you to give it a try. Collect the songs yourself or let the students do it for you. If you find any good ones that I don't have on my list, please send them to me at this email address and I'll add them. I think that using popular music is a fun way to start class and to engage students with the material. Thanks for watching. I'm Eric Simon and good luck with your class.